nitrogen fixation. Let's study. Well, so let's see. The process of conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia and other related compounds is basically nitrogen fixation. See, this is simply nitrogen fixation. Got this concept? Why this is necessary? Because plants cannot utilize this N2 directly from atmosphere. It has to be fixed or rather converted into forms which can be utilized by the plant. That's simply nitrogen fixation. Clear everyone? Okay. Now, so what happens here? Just don't forget this N triple bond N which gives this N2 molecule. Correct? Now, if some other molecule need to be formed, see NH3, NO2 minus, NO3 minus, if these forms need to form, then bonds need to be broken or some rearrangement of the bonding should happen let's see what happens nitrogen fixation here breaks the triple covalent bond and then only this type of product is possible ammonia you see nitrogen bonded to hydrogen 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 nh3 fine okay this is only possible when the triple covalent bond is broken got it Clear everyone? Okay, very good. Now, let's study about nitrogen fixation. What are the ways in which nitrogen can be fixed? These three major ways. Atmospheric nitrogen fixation, industrial nitrogen fixation, biological nitrogen fixation. Let's study about all of them. How and rather how these happens, okay? Why these happen? Let's see. First, we'll study about the atmospheric one. Yes, in the atmosphere, naturally also, naturally also, nitrogen is fixed. Let's see what happens over here. Atmospheric nitrogen fixation is what I am going to teach you now. Did you take the note? Atmospheric, biological, industrial and biological. Fine. Nitrogen fixation. You know about nitrogen fixation right now? Yes. Correct. Now, concentrate. Concentrate. Don't, don't just write everything what I'm saying. You should know which one to pick out, which one is important for you. Clear? Okay, I'll tell you. Wait. Nitrogen N2, great. Wow. C, UV, lightning. So these are high energy. So UV, if I talk about UV, okay, ultraviolet light, high energy light. So it is capable of breaking this triple covalent bond of the N2 molecule, correct? Lightning, very high energy. It can also, also, it can also break the triple covalent bond, okay? The covalent bond, the triple bond that is there between the two nitrogen atoms. Fine. See what is also aiding the process. Oxygen present in the atmosphere. Fine, okay? So lightning, UV, they are involved in fixation of the nitrogen. That is atmospheric nitrogen fixation, okay? High energy is required, which is provided by the UV lightning in the presence of oxygen will form the nitrogen oxides and nitrogen oxides when they combine with rainwater forms what? The nitrates. Once more, everyone ready? Well, N2, right? This bond I'm telling need to be broken because this is not the format in which form in which plants can absorb it. What is the natural process? Atmospheric process. Atmospheric nitrogen fixation. Write it down. Lightning, UV radiations. They play an important role and along with oxygen. So, the high energy provided by the UV radiations, lightning, they break this bond and in turn form the nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen combined with oxygen in different forms. You see here. Fine. Do you get it? Okay. Ultimately, they combine these nitrogen oxides combined with rain water and forms the nitrate. Of course, it will come down as in the soil in with rain. Yes or no? Very good. That's atmospheric one. Let's move on to the industrial one. In industries also, this is possible. And these are the ways in which nitrogen fixation happens. See, forest fires. Forest fires. So forest fires cause the nitrogen that is held in the plants to combine with oxygen in the air to form nitrogen oxides. One possible way. Second, industrial smoke, okay, the vehicular exhaust. So here also what happens, these are also the sources of nitrogen oxides. 
These are found mainly because of the reaction. These are found mainly because of the reaction of the nitrogen and oxygen in air during the end during various industrial processes. Okay, and burning of fossil fuels. You know, during these processes, a lot of energy is also utilized. It involves a lot of energy. So, utilizing that, nitrogen oxides can also form in these ways. Clear? This is industrial I'm talking about. Fine? Okay, great. So, well, industrial smoke, vehicular exhaust. And one of the forms is forest fires also. You know, uh, forest fires, now you must be thinking, why am I including in the industrial nitrogen fixation? Well, the uh, basic logic is forest fires can be natural. It can be human because of human interference also. We can at times just for clearing out uh, some areas to build up industries, to build up residences, uh, residential areas, we clear out forests. And this is one of the ways, just burning out forests. Okay, that's an easier way rather than cutting trees one by one by one. Fine. Okay, so that's forest fires also. They are also helping in the nitrogen fix fixation process, okay? So now these nitrogen oxides eventually find their way into the soil. So again, soil, the nitrogen oxides. Well, very good. Now let's move on to the biological, yes. That means you understand some life forms, some cells will be involved in fixing nitrogen. Can any one of you name one of them because we have encountered this name lots and lots and lots of times as and when we were talking about okay some examples biological classification chapter yes during plants also we have seen that come on can you tell me can any one of you tell me this just a small hint also works for me okay shall i start shall i start the biological nitrogen fixation process let's see here the nitrogen is there recalled Yes, do you recall nitrogen fixing microbes, nitrogen fixing bacteria there, which can fix the atmospheric nitrogen and convert into forms like ammonia. Fine. So these are done by bac some bacteria there, which are known as nitrogen fixing bacteria. This is biological because cells are involved. So this is basically biological nitrogen fixation. And you know, this is one of the major contributors of this nitrogen fixation process. Fine, got it? Very good. So performed by the nitrogen fixing prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, they are referred as diazotropes. Diazotropes, okay? Now, just to give you a bit more account on diazotropes, is diazo, it means dinitrogen. Dinitrogen. So diazotropes are those organisms which are capable of assimilating atmospheric nitrogen. That means basically, fixing atmospheric nitrogen, converting atmospheric nitrogen into forms which can be used by the plant. Diazotropes, clear? Everyone, okay, very good. And this is something you have to note. Well, note down this word, diazotropes, diazotropes, diazo, dinitrogen, and we are talking about nitrogen fixation. That means I'm talking about biological nitrogen fixation. Noted, easy, relatable, yes or no? Now note this down first, the name nitrogenase, the enzyme involved in this fixation process. Nitrogenase, MOFE protein, MOFE protein. I'll talk about this, wait for it, okay? So this is a MOFE protein, fine. Nitrogen, with the help of nitrogenase enzyme, this enzyme helps in the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia, fine? Got it? So the enzyme causes the reduction, you know, reduction, addition of protons. Yes. So causes the reduction of the triple bond in the nitrogen to form ammonia. Let me show you the process a bit. Yes. Come on. You know, uh, so you are uh, aware of chemistry also. You are studying chemistry side by side because if you want to be doctors, chemistry is also required for you to understand. Along with physics, of course, biology is there. So, you know what, the best part of science is if you are a person who would like science rather than just a subject, then you can enjoy science like me, okay? You won't be biased towards, okay, I like biology, I like chemistry, I like physics. No, I like science, okay? Let's see. So, 
So nitrogen is enzyme substrate. See the substrate for the enzyme. It's the nitrogen gas N2 N triple bond N. Fine. This is the enzyme nitrogen is. Now what happens? Let's see. Binding with the substrate which is nitrogen, the atmospheric nitrogen reduction process, which means what? Addition of proton CH is being added. Okay. So 2H plus added. You see. Now it is a condition where N double bond N and two hydrogen has been added to the two nitrogen atoms. Binding state of the substrate. Now further two more hydrogen. Okay. Now do you see N single bond N and you see two two hydrogen each are bonded to the nitrogen atom. Okay. Each nitrogen atom is bonded to two hydrogen and now till now they are bonded to each other also by single bond. Now not a triple bond single bond because two bonds are broken already by the action of this nitrogenous enzyme and in turn they have bonded to hydrogen. Got it? it does not end here. Further 2H plus are added. Yes, nitrogen, nitrogen, the bond is now broken and in turn they become what? Release of ammonia, NH3. Got the process? Is it easy? Yes, you know what? So whenever you see a complicated process, a co process which is very complicated, then what you have to do is simple. Break it down. Break it down. However, anything is, how much anything is difficult? It won't matter. Just break it down. It becomes easy, right? Just break it down. This process. See, in fact, you are just this this thing that you are studying. You know, it's a it's a nice mechanism which you'll study in organic chemistry. Wait for it. Okay, great. So release of the products. The ammonia ammonia is released over here. Fine, great. Did you get this point? Now the best part is again enzymes. You've studied in enzymology, right? Enzymes. I've taught you in which chapter? Biomolecules. So there enzymes, I told you, so they do not get involved or used up in the reaction process. You see again, once again, I'm proving it. Enzyme is free and it is free to perform this reaction once more. That's the beauty of enzyme. Okay, great. So this enzyme is again free to bind to another N2 molecule and perform the same reaction. Beauty of nitrogen is. But one thing. This is a very energy utilizing process, high energy requirement and see the number 16 ATP molecules are used. 16 ATP molecules are used to convert this N2 to two molecules of ammonia. Addition in addition to that H2 is released 16 ATP molecules are released and 16 PI. Wow. It's such a energy extensive process. High energy requirement is here. It's a high energy requirement process. Fine.